Hello and welcome to lesson 1-1, one, one, part 1. Today we're going to look at variables and expressions. So ultimately we're going to be looking at identifying variables, numerical expressions, and variable expressions, and then we're going to write variable expressions for word phrases. So to begin with, we need to understand what a variable is. A variable is nothing more than a letter that is supposed to stand or represent a number. We have numerical expressions, which are mathematical phrases using only numbers and operating symbols. Okay, and this could be something like 3 plus 5. It could be something like 5 times 2, negative 6 minus 7, and so on. So they're just numbers only with operation symbols. Next, we have variable expressions, which are mathematical phrases that use variables, numbers, and operating symbols. So I could have something like 5n, 3t minus 1, x plus 7, and so on. So when we look at example 1, we have to identify each expression as numerical or variable expressions. So for part A, it says 8 divided by x. Well, I have both numbers and variables with my operator. So this would actually be a variable expression. Part B is 100 times 6. There's only numbers involved. So this is a numerical expression. And part C, again, has variables and numbers with our operators. So this would be considered a variable expression as well. Now, when we're looking at word equations, okay, sometimes we have um, indicators in our uh, words that will tell us if we're adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. So, if you see something that says total, okay, that typically indicates that we're going to be adding. If we see the word phrase that there's more than something, that's also addition. Increased by could mean addition. If we see anything with difference, fewer than, less than, or decreased by, then these here are all going to indicate subtraction. For multiplication, we have words like product and times, and the words quotient and divided by will indicate division. So example two says to write a variable expression for the given. In this First one here says 7 more than n. So this means I'm going to be adding 7 to n. So I have 7 plus n. Over here, we have the product of 7 and n. So here is 7n. This means 7 times n. Or you could write it as 7 times n like this. Or you could write it with the actual multiplication symbol of 7 times n. The next one says the difference of n and 7. So when we're doing difference, this here would become n minus 7. And the last one here says the quotient of 4.2 and c. Well, quotient means that we are dividing. Example 3 says the sum of twice a number and 31. So sum means that we're adding. So we have uh, twice a number, so 2 times, and I'm going to just say x for some number. And we're adding that to 31. For the next one, this is probably the trickiest one, when we say 9 less than a number. Okay, so in this case, I'm really going to take some number, and we'll call that t, and we will subtract 9. And the reason I know that it's going to be t minus 9, because if you think about a specific example in your head, and you, if you want to know what is 9 less than like 10, in your head, you're going to go 10 minus 9. So it's no different than when I have 9 less than a number. Here, I'm going to go a variable, or in this case, t minus 9. So example 4, we're going to continue on. Here it tells us to write a variable expression, and we have t minus 15. The next one says 2 times a number, so that means 2n plus 5, it says. Here we have 7 less than 3 times a number, 
So here I might go something like 3 times my number, which is going to be x, we'll say, and we're going to subtract that, and then we're going to have 7, so 3x minus 7. And the final one says the quotient of n and 7, so this would be n divided by 7. Okay, when we look at uh, kind of like a story problem, that's what example 5 is. It says the bagels cost 50 cents each. We need to write a variable expression for the cost of B bagels. Well, anytime you're dealing with a cost, if you know the price of an individual item, in order to find the price of several items, you're going to have to multiply the cost of that individual item by the number of things that you purchase. So I might do 0.5. And we are told that we have B bagels. So 50 cents would be 0 0.50 times B. Or you could have just written it as 0.5B. I'm okay with either one. The next part says write a variable expression for the number of hours in M minutes. Well, we know that there's 60 minutes in one hour. So if I know that I have m minutes, I'm actually going to have to take my number of minutes and divide that by 60 in order to figure out how many hours there are. So for 34, it says to write a phrase for each expression. I highly suggest in your homework that you try to be more creative than just saying q plus 5, q minus 7, T plus 6 or whatever. Okay, be a little more creative because you're going to see more creative things on your test and quiz. So here, I could say that we have the sum. So the sum of Q and 5. Then for number 35 here, we have 3 minus T. So we could say the difference of 3 and t. For 36, we could say the product of 9 and n. So the product of 9 and n plus 1. And for the final one, we could do something like the quotient of y and 5. Okay, and if you did this, you might have something a little bit different, and that's okay. For example, 7, it says write an algebraic expression for each phrase. So here, 4 more than p. So we have 4 plus p. For number 3, we have 12 minus m. So that one's just pretty straightforward. Then we have the quotient of n and 8, so n divided by 8. And number 7 is going to be 23 less than x. So if I do that, remember, when I see the word less than, that's really x minus 23. For example, 8, we're defining a variable, which that just means that you get to pick the variable, and you're going to write an expression for each phrase. So number 9 says 2 more than twice a number. So 2 more means 2 plus twice a number, which is 2n. Number 11 is 9 minus a number. So I have 9 minus a number, which we could call x. Number 13, I have the product of 5 and a number, so product means multiplication, so I could say 5y. And my last one is the quotient of a number. So here I might use something like uh, t and the quotient of t, which is my number, and 6 is just t divided by 6. So this is all I have for the part 1 video. 
please let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, have a great day and I'll see you in class.